you know, that, that's the human being, lips, tongues, hands, and the face, your, your face is also extraordinarily amenable to voluntary manipulation, so you can learn to move single neurons in the tissue underneath your eyes that's how, that's how high resolution your face is, and that's partly because it's a broadcast screen which is why people are always looking at it, right, and that's why if you watch a movie it's always concentrating on people's faces is because they're just broadcasting what? they're broadcasting their stories constantly, and we're looking at their faces what are you looking at? what are your eyes pointing at? what are you up to? what's your emotional expression? what are you going to do next? what do you think about me? where are you going? and you're brought, like, you find someone who has had too much plastic surgery uncanny because their face is dead, because you cannot tell what they're up to, they're, they've got this zombie-like aspect that's terrifying and people like that, look, people like that got killed that's why we're not like that, or they didn't mate, it's like you want to know what that other person is up to and I told you already that's how the whites of our eyes evolved, right? I don't, do you remember that story? gorillas don't have that distinction between the iris and the whites, not like human beings and our eyes are very sharp, and one thing we really want to know is what are you looking at and why? what are you up to? and if I can tell what you're looking at, I can infer what you're going to do, and you want to broadcast that, well, except when you don't want to broadcast it, but you know, most of the time you want to be pretty transparent to other people, because otherwise they won't trust you, and if they don't trust you, they won't cooperate with you, they won't compete with you, and the probability that they'll come after you is extraordinarily high, because you'll be evil predator in no time flat 